Good day, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the motor starter and specifically uh, motor starter that we want to discuss is the star delta motor starter. Okay, uh, before we move on to the star delta type of motor starter, we have several types of motor starters that is being used to start up the motor. We have a direct online type. Apart from that, we also have a star delta, motor starter, and we have auto transformer, motor starter, a soft starter, as well as the variable speed drives or a variable frequency drive. But um, today, I'm going to share on the star delta type of motor starter. This is a star delta motor starter, as you can see in the picture here. It's a very simple connection of the star delta uh, motor starter. Of a few contactors, a timer, thermal overload relay, switches, circuit breakers for the power and for the control circuit, as well as a indication light for the motor status. Either it's a start or stop or trip. And the changes of the motor con motor contactors is being uh, it depends on the timer that is being set for the motor. So the motor will be actually start started in star connection. And once the timer has been finished counting, the star will, will contact the star connection of the motor is changed to a delta motor uh, connections. We'll be discussing this in more detail next slide uh, this is the simple theoretical explanation for why the motor is started in star and then once the motor has run for a certain period of time to be converted into or change over into a delta connection the reason being is very simple if you look at the three uh, phase circuit in star connection, the voltage, <coughs> the voltage of line to line and the voltage at the phase is differ by root 3. The line to line voltage here is V and the phase voltage here is V over root 3. <coughs> That's the concept of the star connection for voltage but for the current the line current and the phase current are equal and for only for the voltage differ so voltage here for example is 415 volt the voltage line to line is 415 volt and the voltage of the phase would be 240 volt so by reducing the voltage at this phase we can reduce the current flowing through this <coughs> circuit during the starting. It is explained by this. We have the voltage over root 3 divided by the impedance of this circuit of this uh, phase by Z and we get the certain figure of the current. And for delta, three phase delta circuit, the voltage of the line to line and the voltage of the phase would be equal. But the current now, the line current is greater than the phase current by root 3. So by knowing the equation, we can, by knowing the equation in star and the delta for the current element, by by doing some uh, mathematical expression relationship, we get the value of one third. It's telling us that as we start the motor in star and running the motor in delta, we're gonna have the effect of one third of the current as compared to the direct online. If, if we just start the motor straight to delta, for example. So starting the motor in star and then changing the motor connection in delta for running 
will have the effect of one third of the current for the starting. So um, back to the objective of this uh, learning on the star delta connection uh, is to perform the wiring connection of main and control circuit of the star delta starter and then to perform the depth test and function test of the motor starter to measure the operating parameters of the motor starter. So basically the required instrument and accessories um, for us to test for the star delta uh, motor starter is to have a work motor control workbench if you have it, um, motor starter board, three phase quill cage induction motor, hand tools, and some connecting cables and digital multimeter. All right, uh, this is the main circuit and the control circuit for the star delta motor connection, whereby we have a whereby we have a power circuit which is indicated by this red, yellow, blue neutral, which is a three-phase uh, power supply going to the motor, and also a control circuit for the motor uh, start-stop control or the tripping control. All right. Uh, as you can see, there are three contactors being used, main contactor, delta contactor, and star contactor. And we have a motor here, motor winding, which has six leads from each phases. One phase, there are two leads. Uh, for example, this is red phase with R1, R2, yellow phase, Y1, Y2, and a blue phase for B1 and B2. And a Thermal overload relay being installed here. Okay, uh, let's go on how does this circuit works is by pressing the start button. Once the start button is being pressed, there will be current flowing through this circuit. As a result, it energizes the, the M coil for the main contactor. So as M being energized, it will close this contact and start to energize the T, which is the timer. Bear in mind that in this circuit, there is a timer being used. The reason for the timer is to change over contact from star to delta. So as I mentioned earlier, the motor start in star for connection first. Only then it will change over contact to delta after certain period of time being set to it. Actually, depending on timer, some timers are set to 10 seconds, some timers are set to maybe 15 seconds, depending on the, uh, the motor requirement of starting. So, as M energized, M coil energized, M contact will close, energizing the timer, start to close this contact, closing this contact, and opening this contact. Closing this contact, and since delta is still open, so delta is not energized, so this one remain closed, will eventually energize this coil or the star coil. Energizing the star coil will open this contact. Open this contact, so delta will not be energized. At the same time, by energizing S, this will close this S contact, and the motor run indication light will be light up. And here will be open and then stop light is off. Okay, what happened after the timer finish counting? It will be de-energized and the circuit will be like this, back to this. So this will be open and this will this T will be closed. This T close and since S is uh, no longer energized, this S contact will remain closed, normally closed, and energizes T coil, which is the delta coil. Energizes delta coil will start to open this contact so that it will not longer be in, will energize the S. At the same time, closing this contact, stating that the motor is running, and opening this contact, telling you that the motor is not stopped, which is the motor is running. So, that's how this motor works. Until there is some problem related to overloading of this motor, 
So when when it is overloading, this thermal coil here will open this will will expand and close this contact and saying telling that the motor is stripped and the biometallic contact of this thermal overload relay will open so stopping the motor from continuing to run. These are the safety requirements that need to be adhered when we perform the job to wire the star delta circuit and to energize the circuit as well as to run the motor. So ensure that you have a proper job hazard analysis when performing this job and because we know that the hazard of the PPE, so you need to wear a proper PPE, a proper isolation of the circuit when you start to do the job uh, and also to be vigilant at all times when performing this this job and to use a proper measurement tools okay insulator tools and to get permission from instructor or technician before handling the live circuit so the procedure in performing this uh, test is that we're going to perf perform the circuit connection as shown in the figure one as mentioned before uh, perform continuity tests on the main circuit and the control circuit of the motor starter. Connect the control circuit to a single phase power supply. Turn on the supply and perform functional tests on the control circuit. Turn off the supply. Connect the motor starter circuit to a three phase power supply. Turn on the power supply and perform function tests to both the control circuit and the main circuit. Turn off the power supply and connect the circuit to the squirrel cage. Motor 1 step 7 is successfully performed. Power up the circuit with the motor connected. Perform again the functional test for both main and control circuit. Record the operating parameters of the motor and record your observation as per checklist table 1. We will see later on the table 1. And last but not least is to power off the circuit and perform housekeeping. This is basically a comprehensive uh, which considers the job, not only the job to be carried out, but as but the safety precaution as well is taken into consideration. So this is the workbench for um, Star Delta uh, motor starter. And if you can see, there are four contactors here, but you can ignore the first contactor because we are not going to we're not going to do the, the what do you call, forward reverse connection. So we will consider uh, this contactor as the main contactor. This is the star contactor and the, uh, sorry, this is a delta contactor and this is the star contactor. We're going to utilize only these three contactors in this project. So this figure 2 shows the motor control workbench where several components can be observed such as the incoming terminals which is this one incoming breaker or circuit breaker which is this one mcb motor status light which is here on off trip or start stop trip okay contactors main star delta main star delta we might not be using this forward because in this circuit, we will ignore the, the reverse forward um, functions. And then uh, thermal overload relay, which is this one. And the timer, which is here. This is the base. The timer has yet to be placed here. Uh, selector switches here. And outgoing terminals here. Right. The circuit components. Okay, uh, this is the circuit breaker. Incoming breaker for this circuit utilize the MCB. The selected MCB current rating are 30 ampere and 6 amperes for the three phase and single phase breaker respectively. For the three phase MCB is for the main circuit or the motor or the power circuit and the single phase MCB for the control circuit which is this one. Uh, for this one, um, there are three numbers of light bulbs utilized for this circuit. These are meant to show the status of the motor in various states such as corresponding with their colors as per below. We have red light for motor running, 
the green light for the motor stop status and the yellow light for motor trip. These are the circuit components that is part of the star delta, which you can see here. We have a contactor. Two types of contactors available for the main contactor, star contactor, and delta contactors. And this one is for the thermal overload relay as the protection when the motor experiencing overload. Okay, circuit components. As I mentioned just now, the timer is being used in this circuit. You can set it to how long does it take you to change over the contact from star to delta connection. Okay, you can see here, uh, this is the source supply source to you, you to apply on the timer. And we have a contact which is normally closed at this one. Terminal 5 and terminal 8 is normally closed contact. And terminals, terminal number 6 and terminal number 8 is the normally open contact. Whereby 8 is actually a common line. This is a selector switch whereby uh, this selector switch is de dedicated for forward, reverse and off. However, in this practical session, we will be using only two buttons for start and stop function only. And this one is the outgoing circuits where two outgoing circuits from thermal overload are going to U1, V1, W1 from delta contactors are going to W2, U2, V2. Okay. And this is the testing parameter and results. Um, because the motor is voltage is 415 volt AC. This is the supply voltage to start the motor. And the starting line current uh, when we when we powering up the motor, it's about 8.5 ampere. The line current is 2.4 ampere. The phase current is 2.4 ampere during running and uh, if you notice that the current here is similar to current here this is because uh, it is it is in a, a star connection okay while you while you but were running in 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 star connection phase voltage 240 and the motor speed is as per here 1491.7 because there is some sleep. This is the induction motor, and the rotation of the motor is anti clockwise. A dead test is basically uh, to test the motor when the motor is not running, it's not yet actually being connected to the supply circuit. So, from here, we can check for the U1, U2 winding, which is the red phase winding of the motor, checking the resistance here to know whether it's healthy or not. So as you check from U1 to U2, the resistance shall be below 1 ohm. And if it's if for this motor is about 1 ohm and below. Same goes for the yellow phase, which is V1, V2. The blue phase, W1, W2. Phase to phase, phase to earth. This is uh, uh, basically to check on the insulation resistance face to face and the face to earth so insulation resistance for this circuit should be uh, somewhere around mm, around 14 mega ohms and above so this one actually depending on the standard that, that is being used uh, and for the standard that we use here to check for the insulation resistance is the two times the kv of the system plus one So the insulation resistance for phase to phase and phase to earth checking that the the voltage system is 415. The rule of thumb of measuring the, of the minimum value for the insulation resistance here should be two times this uh, kV, which is 0 0.415 kV, and then plus one. So two times 0 0.415 plus one is equivalent to 1.83 mega ohm in mega ohm so the formula rule of thumb is the two 
times the kV of the system uh, plus 1 in mega ohm the minimum as long as the re the reading is above the minimum then the insulation resistance uh, of the motor winding is acceptable so these are the conclusions that can be made from this experiment or this study of the star delta motor significant um, information that I would like to share is that the starting current can be reduced to one third as per equation derivation meaning to say uh, if you start the motor directly in the state where the motor is in delta connection the motor for example if the starting current is 100 amps so if you start the motor in star and run it in delta you will be getting the more the current will only be 33 ampere so it means it's a one-third reduction in the current as a result of reduction in the current the torque would be about is reduced of, to about 58 percent due to the current reduction so this is very good to us because we have able to reduce the current so the voltage drop at the bus or at the switchboard will not be as high as a direct online but um, when some, but this is not really suitable for load that require higher torque load that require 40 percent 50 percent torque will not be uh, sufficient to be started by this type of motor starter and another thing about this stuff that Star Delta starter is that it is cheaper as compared to other other types of motor starter because it only involves electromechanical components such as contactors, mm, some simple timers and simple circuits. So that's all. I hope you guys enjoy and learn something from my sharing. Thank you very much.